Sam. What brings you in today? Uh, just came in to uh, talk about, you know, what's going on. Awesome. How have things been going your way? Everything's going smooth, work's going good, and personal life is going good? Yeah, everything's been pretty good. Uh, you know, the only thing that I've been uh, struggling with a little bit is maybe my diet. Okay. So you're not having good luck with your eating habits, or you're, are you gaining weight, or what's the... I guess you'd say I'm traditional American. I, I eat bad, and I don't, uh, don't seem to do anything about it. And, and when I try to try to do a diet, I just don't seem to stick to it very well. Okay. So you feel discouraged maybe that the diet that you do try is just not, um, it's just too hard to stick to and make changes permanently? Yeah, I suppose. I just, I'm not motivated enough. I'll start up a gym membership and maybe spend, I, I don't know, I mean, the longest I've ever gone is maybe six months. And it seems to be kind of a, a yearly cycle. You know, you get fat and you want to hit the gym and go on a diet and, and then you, uh, chicken out and stop doing it, either lack of motivation or lack of desire. I'm never happy with the end results. I'm happy with the progress, but I still give up. Okay. So you feel frustrated because you don't stick with your routine that you've spent six months on, but after that six months, it just your motivation just disappears after that? Right. I need some motivation. Are you going to give me some? Uh, I would love to give you some. I don't know that I have enough myself either. Um, but you definitely, I can, I can relate. I definitely, um, I can see you feel annoyed that you can't stay on the track that you spend time on dedicating to for six months, um, because you cannot. Okay, so you feel discouraged that you cannot commit to anything longer than six months as far as eating healthier and going to the gym regularly? Right, just don't know how to stay motivated. I like being in shape, I like being healthy, and yet for some reason I just I just can't seem to make myself stay on it, you know? Okay, so you definitely, you feel great when you're working out and you're eating healthier, but it's just you cannot maintain that self-control to continue to eat well and continue to go to the gym. Yeah, I mean a big part of it is I'm an incredibly finicky eater. I just don't like a lot of foods and majority of the diets out there revolve around eating differently and changing your diets and cutting out certain types of you know carbs and sugars and I just love my carbs and sugars. Yeah I can understand that. So you definitely you feel um, you feel like you want to make a change but with your eating habits you feel that you cannot make as many changes maybe the next person could because if you're so picky it's hard to change a lot of the habits yeah, I mean, I've even gone, you know, to do classes and sign up at the gym for personal trainers and they'll, you know, create a whole diet routine for you and in that diet routine they always put together, here's the calories you can take of each type of thing and here's the, the regimen you need to follow and, and I always, you know, agree that, yeah, I'll totally do that. Well, in the back of my head I'm thinking, ew, I wouldn't eat 90% of what they're writing down, but I don't feel like you know, being confrontational and scolded like a child for not being willing to eat their things, so I always just say I'll do it, even though I won't. Okay. I can see where you would do that at, because, you know, it is, um, it's almost like the people, like, don't see your side of your pickiness, like, they are going to try and just say, well, come on, how are you going to change, how are you going to change, and, you know, they don't know your eating habits to your extent, obviously. Um, I, I can see that you're definitely you're feeling in, you know confident in making changes, but obviously the food situation probably not where it's going to help you at. Um, what else? Uh, have you tried anything like at home? Maybe that's just starting out small instead of going full fledged to the gym huh. three or four times a week. Well, I, you know that's the other problem. My wife is an awesome baker and she cooks uh, goodies all the time, and I'm like. Stop making my favorite treats and covering them with chocolate fattiness, and <laughs> and then I feel you know like the desserts are not going to eat themselves, and I I feel obligated to consume the entire tray out of respect, and and so I do, and then I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> okay, that I mean, I can see where that would be definitely a problem. Um, have you tried talking to your wife about possibly uh, maybe? cutting back on baking stuff or just explain to her what your goals are so that maybe you feel because obviously you feel confident and if those treats weren't around you could control yourself a little better 
And that's a start that you can, you know, as long as she can control what she's cooking. I like the treats. You Okay. <laughs> so you feel like you really don't want to talk to her because you like the treats and you, but you're discouraged with your routine as well. Right, yeah. Maybe if I had a better routine to follow. Maybe I could just run every day to burn off the fatty foods that I eat. I just need to find somewhere better to do it, I suppose. Okay, so maybe you can compromise. Maybe you can still get those treats, but maybe just move a little bit more instead of um, sitting around or whatever it is that you lack in, you know, moving around. Okay, so... If you made a plan um, that's different than what you've done in the past, like maybe you decide that, you know, maybe you'll cut out two things that you know is bad for you or limit those or have certain days maybe that you can eat bad and not every single day and then start with that and then maybe move on to adding in like exercising on top of that once a week. I suppose I could probably give up the four Casey's cake donuts and large cappuccino every morning a difficult compromise. I do really enjoy it. You know, one diet I do tend to follow decently, and I do it about once a year, is the uh, starvation diet, also known as Slim Fast. <laughs> okay. So if I just drink that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and nothing else for like a month, you feel like you're starving to death, but I tend to drop the weight. It's not probably the best way to do it, especially because I don't eat anything when I'm doing it. It says on the cans you're supposed to eat something with it, but... I like to just drink it and call it good because then I feel like I'm losing it faster. And if I'm going to torture myself, I might as well torture myself as quickly as possible and get it over with. Rip the band-aid off approach. Okay. But could that be a potential problem where you run into after six months, you're tired of doing that? Even though you drop the weight, do you end up going, find yourself going back to that same cycle again? Because, you know, it's just, it's pretty much a quick fix. If you're not going to change your eating habits, that's going to, you're going to continue to go back to that cycle again and then six months down the road you're going to do slim fast again at six for six months to lose the weight again yeah it's pretty much it every six months then i'll do like a month of of slim fast until i slim back down and but the bad thing about the slim fast diet that i noticed was it's uh you lose your energy it tires you out and um you know your stamina just goes down you rely on more caffeine and i think i read somewhere that caffeine causes you to bloat or retain weight or maybe that's salt i don't know but I know that uh, the slim fast is not necessarily the best for your for your energy levels to boost, but you know it's it's something it's something I can do, and that's the problem is finding a diet with my pickiness that I can stick to and I can tolerate is difficult. And so slim fast they taste okay. It's like a chalky shake, but I can get it down. And once you get past that first week of feeling like you're gonna die of starvation, then it just becomes a routine, and it's just enough to fill you and move on. Okay. Perhaps have you thought about maybe even uh, trying like all fruit smoothies maybe in, in replace of those because at least then you're getting, you know, lots of vitamins and then if you, you can put in certain amounts of um, either uh, supplemental fiber or you could also put in some type of protein in there so that maybe you could um, feel fuller and actually still get either the same amount of calories or less calories or the appropriate calories that you need to keep your body fueled instead of turning to caffeine? Yeah, maybe. I mean, my wife went to the store once and bought this frozen bag of vegetables and then she blended it all together with some uh, some yogurt and some other stuff, fruits. And, uh, you know, what was crazy is when it was done, it was this huge bag of vegetables grounded up into this shake and you couldn't even taste the vegetables, but they were frozen. So, you know, I think there was probably a lot of good uh, additives there and probably a good health benefit. and. You know, maybe that's the route to go, but again, that's the um, more difficult route because slim fast, I can just pop a top and go. So I guess the the lazy side of me likes the convenience, and so you just do a a caffeine drink and a slim fast, and you do them both, and you call it a day. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like you feel hopeful that maybe you could potentially switch over to the smoothies if you can find maybe a more convenient way to make it quicker. I suppose if yeah, okay. I suppose it would have packaged them and use them okay. or something like so that. So maybe like the night before, you could always put all the ingredients in one of those cups, and then if it's a single serve blender, you could just put all the stuff in at night, keep it in the freezer, and then go ahead and put it right on the machine. And if it's if it's a single serve, then you all you have to do is put the cup in the dishwasher and. Yeah, that's always an idea. Box my okay. own.
and that might be that might sound like it might be something that might give you a little bit more motivation um, and to diet or change lifestyles a little bit healthier ways at least um, well Sam I want to thank you for coming in today and um, I'm glad we met about this because you know it's a struggle that you know almost virtually everyone has in their life at some point or another um, I do feel that you, you know, you know, you get discouraged because you work hard for that six months and then you end up throwing it all away and, and you feel, um, you know, almost angry that you went through all the hard work just to kind of let it go. But it definitely sounds like you feel hopeful in possibly changing things to make them more of a long-term goal, um, or a long-term lifestyle change. So by the time we meet next time, let's see how you did with your goals and see if you made any little changes, maybe just one at a time and see how that goes. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for meeting with me. Thanks.